Hello guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica, and today we are going to be decluttering my blushes, my bronzers, and my highlighters. Oh, and my face palettes, though I think face palettes are probably going to be more of a collection video. I don't think I'm going to be decluttering anything from my face palettes. I have a full playlist of all of my declutter videos. I'll throw it up in the cards if you feel like sitting back, binge watching, listening on 1.75 speed like a podcast because I definitely do that and that's my favorite way to watch declutters while I'm cleaning because declutters always get me like inspired to clean and declutter myself so that's how I like them and I hope you guys enjoy this too. All right so let's start with the bronzer. So it's really this is the like individually packed bronzer section and then in the next drawer next to highlighters we do have a um a palette with single bronzers. I think I'm gonna get rid of one or two of those. But going through here, let's see, we have the ABH bronzer, which is really like just okay. Honestly, not a huge fan. And I think, I think I could sell this. I'm, yeah, so I'm gonna declutter this. This is the bronzer in the shade Tawny. Okay, next I have a bunch of AOA Studio face powders. I was really curious because they really don't have a powder bronzer or contour, so I just bought some darker face powder shades to see how they work, and I haven't actually tried them out yet, so we're going to keep those. I also have a darker a Stay Matte powder from Rimmel, and again, I'm going to just try using this as a bronzer because it's too dark for me to use as a face powder. I have this Physicians Formula Matte Butter Bronzer, which it's not as good as the other butter bronzers, but it's still decent. I feel like this is also something I would have like in a petty project pan, so that, that might become a rolling project pan, who knows. But it's decent, so I'll keep that. I really like this one. Um, this is from The Balm, and this is the Take Home The Bronze. And it's a really pretty, like, bronzer, like half bronzer, half contour, so I'm going to keep that. Then I finally picked up a Kylie bronzer not too long ago this is before like the rebranded and everything and it's all right <laughs> it's okay um hmm, do I want to keep this yeah yeah let's keep it all right all right and then over here we have this technically this is a dark earthy blush from Burberry I use it as a contour it's like the perfect shade for me and I do have pan in it so I'm gonna keep this because eventually I will finish this up Okay, so that's everything for bronzers here. Let's dive into blush. So over here I have some palettes. This is a uh, magnetic palette that my good friend Bougie Bree sent me along with some single shadows. Two from Tarte and then this is one from Touch of Glam Beauty. I believe that's from my other palette. I purchased that off of Etsy I believe. Um, but these are really pretty and I do want to keep those. So I think I'm going to put this one in first. This is the BH Cosmetics Glamourish Blush 10 color palette. I mean they're really pretty shades honestly. I had this a while ago. If I had, if I knew I was going to have this much blush I probably wouldn't have bought this but I do like it and I'm especially thinking about maybe frankening some other things and these might be useful to keep around if I ever do want to franken shades like these so I'm going to hold on to it. There. Um, this is also a gift from my friend Bougie Bree. This is the Lorac Pro like blush palette, blush highlighter palette, and it's really pretty. I do like these shades, so I'm gonna hold on to this. All right, for the rest of this, I'm gonna pull all the blushes out, and then as we put them back in, we will go through them all. Okay, let's start with these these Cover Effects duos. I bought them. I think it was a 21 Days of Beauty sale not too long ago. They're really pretty. I like them and I am going to keep them. I have that nice peach and then this nice mauve. Let's keep you there. Moving on, I have some blushes from Shop Miss A. These are powder blushes. These are the Perfect Blushes and the Lumi Blushes. Honestly, I like the Lumi Blushes more. They're, they just have a little bit more dimension. They're a baked formula and they've got a little bit of glow to them as opposed to just these flat matte ones. So I'm gonna declutter the matte ones. The, I'm not saying they're not good blushes. I just have a lot of blush and I need to declutter some. Uh, they're decent blushes, but if I were to pick between the matte perfect ones and these Lumi ones, I'd pick the Lumi ones. So I'm gonna keep the Lumi and we'll declutter these two. Next, I have this ColourPop and Sailor Moon blush that is so adorable. I have to keep it. It's it's just really cute and I like it. So I'm going to hold on to you and put you over here. I also have this one from The Balm. I think I got this in a Try Beauty box. This is from uh, The Balm and it's Down Boy blush and it's just a really pretty like glowy pink blush. So put that over there. 
This one I think I'm ready to, to get rid of. This is from Pretty Vulgar and this is in the shade Make Them Blush or it's the Hush Blush. I don't know. Either way, it's just meh now. Nothing really wows me about it and I don't know. I feel like this brand has really fallen off. So, not go. Go away. I have a few loose blushes and I do want to keep these because I love them. This one is from Geek Chic Cosmetics and this is the Let Them Eat Cake blush inspired by Marie Antoinette. It's just a really, really pretty glowy blush and I have to keep it. I love that. So we'll do that. And then these are all blushes from Crow and Pebble and they are just really pretty. I love them. They have so much product. I, I have to keep them. I love them so much. <laughs> Let's do them. Can they all fit like this? This one's a classic that I'm just gonna keep because I really like it and it's really good. This is the Baked Blush in Luminoso from Milani. Everyone and their mother on YouTube is talking about this and it's, it's for good reason, it's a good blush. Next, I have my two liquid blushes. These are from Rare Beauty and they're really pretty and I do want, I don't know how many other shades they have, but I do wanna pick up some other shades. So I'm gonna keep these two and I think we'll put them right there. This blush from e.l.f., this was like a reclaimed. I decluttered this a while ago and then I I put it back in my collection and then I never used it and I need to really declutter it so bye. All right moving on to some cream blushes. I have these two hush blushes from Shop Masse. They're both really pretty. I'm gonna keep those. I have this cream Fenty blush which is just gorgeous. I love that shade. I'm gonna keep that. Now these two from Pixie. I really liked these at first, but now I think these might dry out because they're not good. They're not as good anymore. Like they don't look as nice. They pull up my makeup. They don't even look that great on like my plain bare face, you know, which is shocking considering the price point and everything. So this is really disappointing. <laughs> Just honestly, like go check out my Pixie video. I'll throw it up in the cards. A lot of Pixie is just overpriced and really not worth the hype. It's shocking. And this is one of the only products I liked from that video. And like they don't really have a long of a shelf life. So disappointing. All right. And our last two blushes, we have a Wander Beauty Cream Blush Duo. And these are gorgeous. I love these. So keeping that. And then this Kaja Bento box with these shades. They're beautiful. I love this so much. And this is like, honestly, this is like the perfect size for a cream blush. You really don't need that much cream blush. Oh, and I forgot this little guy. I never use this. I need to get rid of it. This is a blush lighter from Wet n Wild. I just don't use it. Okay, look how much more organized this drawer is. I love it. So that's everything for blushes and bronzers. Let's go to the next drawer for highlighter. All right, do I have a whole drawer of highlighters? Yes. <laughs> do I need to declutter some of these? Absolutely. Yes, I do. Okay, where to start? Let's start here because I also have some bronzers on the back of the Z palette and I do want to go through these. Okay, so I have a couple of loose, actually, I've got a lot of loose highlights. I think I've got some other like empty palettes that I could be utilizing better. I don't know. I might have to go back in and do that later, but I've got a, um, Bronzer from The Balm. This is the Bahama Mama bronzer. This is a baked bronzer from Milani, and I love those baked bronzers, so I'm gonna keep that. This is half of the Wet n Wild duo, and I had to like add a magnet to the back because it's not even magnetic, and I don't like it. So I'm just gonna declutter that. And this is an empty pan that I'm gonna use if I ever franken anything, so. Yeah, I think we're good there. And I'm gonna see if I can get a smaller Z palette and like move these up to like the bronzer section. Yeah. Okay, so on this side, we have individual highlighters. So we have a highlighter up here, which is just, that be that would be in a petty pan. It's just like, okay. Yeah, what is this one? I think this is a, this is a Becca. And it's in Champagne Dream Flashes Bellini. It's honestly just okay. I don't need this. Okay, got highlighter everywhere. Okay, we got some empty pans over here. Let me move the empty pans to the back, just so that we have all the empty pans together. Um, I have this highlighter, which I actually see some baby pan in here, but I think it's because it broke. <laughs> and this is from Touch of Glam Beauty. And honestly, look at that next to the Kylie. Like, let's... Ooh, that's soft. That's soft and that's broken. Uh, I don't think they're exact dupes. Yeah, Touch of Glam is definitely more glowy in there but it's also broken and I don't know if I can repress that. I think I'm going to declutter this one. Alrighty and then this one is from Davina. 
Oh, and it's also one thing about single or things when you declutter, not declutter, but when you depan, depan, depot, Jesus, they can be very fragile, um, which is the only downside to that. All right, so one's purple, one's blue. I really do like that wet and wild with the skull on it, but mm, am I gonna use this Davina high? Yeah, let me keep the Davina highlighter. All right, we have a Tarte highlight that was a gift, and then this is Mary Luminizer. I think I have to keep that just for, like, YouTube history reasons. <laughs> and there. So we'll just have those. Okay, over here I've got two other little palettes. I think... Is it time to get rid of this? This is an old Kylie palette. It's not available anymore, and I really only liked this light shade. This is from the Weather Collection. I actually did a whole video where I bought the whole Weather Collection and reviewed it. It was super hit or miss. And this is probably the only product I still have and use. Yeah, let's let's declutter this. I might sell this on Poshmark because it's it was limited edition and I didn't use it all that much. So yeah, bye bye. Nice. Okay. Uh, next we have this Wet n Wild Mega Glow Highlighting Palette, and I love the Wet n Wild highlights. They're some of the best affordable highlights you can find, and I love this palette. So I'm gonna keep it. Alrighty, let's move you down here. Move you up to there. Alright, let's see. We have a, so this, I bought this from Lunatic Cosmetic Labs thinking it would be a bigger, useful palette, but like really, I'm not depotting anything into this. They're so small. I thought they would be bigger. Like, I thought the whole thing would be open and it would be magnetic. I'm wondering, maybe, should I try breaking this apart? Okay, I'm gonna pull this out because I might see if I could rip this up and just make it a full magnetic palette in here and if not I will just either use this for decor because it looks cute or declutter it. All right and then back there I've got my my second backup for the Becca Royal Glow Highlighter so uh, is it a little ridiculous? Absolutely. I am gonna keep it though. It's my favorite highlight. <laughs> okay so for the rest of this I'm gonna pull all the highlighters out and then we will declutter them as we put them back in. All right, so starting with the glow kits from ABH, honestly, I love these and I don't want to get rid of them. I have the Moonchild glow kit, which is messy but beautiful. I have the Dream glow kit, which is also, oh my god, damn, that's messy, that's embarrassing. But it's beautiful, I love those shades. I have the Nicole Guerrero glow kit, which is, a, it's okay, I like them. Um, and then I have the Sugar glow kit, love these shades. So yeah, I'm going to keep all of those, I do love these glow kits a lot. <laughs> All right, so first I've got this Physicians Formula like nude shimmer brick. I do love this. It's also nostalgic for me because this is one of the first highlighters I ever bought, one of the first makeup products I ever bought. So I'm gonna keep that and put the box like right there. Next, I have this Dior highlighter that I extra keep in the bag, which you know I could just get rid of the bag finally and just have the highlighter. I do have pan in this. I did have it in a project pan not too long ago, and I would like to finish this up. So let's just let's get rid of the pretense. Let's you know, trash or recycle the bag and just keep the highlight because it's just, it's a highlight. <laughs> All right, I've got this MAC highlight and to be honest, you know, it's not amazing. I got this because it was limited edition and then it came back and like everyone freaked out about it. Specif like specifically Taylor Wynn. Taylor Wynn loved it enough that she went out and she bought like one or two of these and I was like, I Taylor Wynn bought it so I'm gonna buy it. And then <laughs> I don't use it that often, but it is my only MAC highlight. So let's It'll pass the test this time, but if the time comes around that I declutter again and I have not reached for this, it will go bye-bye. <laughs> I have the Essence Pure Nude Highlighter. I love this. It's just a really nice, subtle, but beautiful, affordable highlight. You really can't go wrong. All right, I really, I think I'm gonna declutter both of these. These are from Pixie. These are some of the products that I liked from Pixie too, but looking at the amount of highlighters that I have, I have other ones that I like better. This is just the Pixie Creamy Gold Glowy Powder, and then this was actually a blush duo, and then it broke in shipping, and so I mixed it together, and, it, and it's just okay. So I'm going to declutter both of these. And I think this one, since I barely used it, I'll probably sell this one, but then this one's broken, so I don't think anyone's going to want it. All right, so this is Unmet 69 and Beauty Creations. It's a pretty highlight, but honestly, I'm kind of over the bulky packaging. It's kind of annoying, and I've, I'm sure I've got this shade. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I have that shade, so I'm going to declutter this. Okay, so we're getting to the Becca highlighters. I have a conundrum here. Um, I don't really use them that often, but I don't want to get rid of them because Becca's about to close down, and so they're going to be special, you know? These I'm definitely keeping, these two. the My two versions of the Royal Glow highlighter. Um, 
That one's the newer one. Does this one have any pan in it at all? No, it doesn't. No, this is the newer one. <laughs> this is ridiculous. I have three of the same highlighter because I love it so much, but I love it so much. So I've got these. I should probably pan another one and then just have the two. Because if, you if you're new to my channel, I panned a full one of these. I panned a full one of these and now I have three backups because I love this highlighter so much and it was limited edition and then now Becca's closing so it's definitely limited edition now. Oh, okay. So I'm going to keep those because I really want to and I like them. What is this full size? This is Moonstone. Do I use Moonstone? Where? It's not wowing me. I'm gonna think about it. See, cause like, I don't wanna part with the Becca ones. And like these little ones, these were I think limited edition. That's pretty, that's like a, that's the J, ooh, yeah, okay. I wanna keep that one, that's like the green reflect one that looks really pretty. Now what's this one? Oh, this one's gold, okay. Cause there used to be four of these. I think I decluttered the other two and I just kept these two. So yeah, okay, then my Becca highlights aren't going anywhere. <laughs> I wish you guys would stay up. No. Stay. There. I just recently purchased this Milani highlight. I saw a recommendation for it like on Instagram or TikTok and I like it so far. So I'm going to keep this one. It is a little bulky though. I'm not a fan of the big bulky packaging. Okay. This is a Laura Geller highlight. This was a gift from my friend Bougie Brie, but honestly it's it's like a purpley highlight. I don't think I'd be reaching for that. So I'm going to declutter this one. Speaking of purpley highlights, I have this one from AOA Studio. Ooh, it's like a creamy kind of highlight. That one's actually a lot more subtle than the other one. So I'm going to hold on to this one. Moving on to my loose highlighters. I only have a couple and I don't think I really want to get rid of any of these. This is a, oh, this is actually from the Weather Collection too, but this I actually like. This is the Lightning Bolt Loose Highlighter. I'm gonna keep that. This is from Geek Chic Cosmetics, and this is the Sailor Moon Moon Tiara Stardust Highlighter, which is beautiful. It's really silver and sparkly, but beautiful. And then these are from Crow and Pebble, and they're just really pretty. Oh, do I need the mini? Let me swatch these real quick, because I'm thinking, do I need to keep both of these? Are they similar enough? Oh, that is stunning. Okay. Let's see the big one. Oh, that's a lot of powder. Oh, I'm gonna spill that everywhere. Okay, I do like that one better. Okay, I'm gonna keep the full size one and then like the mini half one, I'll just declutter because I know I probably won't use all of it anyway. Okay, and last but not least, we have all of my other Shop Misse AOA Studio highlighters. I really like these. They're super affordable and they're beautiful. Um, so I'm going to keep these. I've got the two baked highlighters. Let's actually give these a quick swatch because they're really pretty. So there's one. That's the shade Cloud. This is the shade Bonbon. It's like a light gold. Really pretty. So let's scoop these down and start putting these there. I have two of the same shade because one actually broke in shipping and they reset it to me. This is Eris. So this is Eris. Oh my god, that just happened. Um, okay, that's new. <laughs> uh, okay, so I am gonna declutter the broken one that is again. Wow, okay. Well, just to let you know that the shades do repress nicely if you ever need to repress them, um, but that's new. I've never had that happen before, so I, I, I will just throw this away. Okay. <laughs> Where did that piece, there's like a broken piece that just flew off. Is it over here? Oh my god, that was so weird. <laughs> uh. Okay, so we've got Eris. Let's swatch that. Really pretty. And then we have Empress, which is more of a gold tone. Pretty. There we go. Okay, so we got rid of, honestly, more highlighters than I thought we would. Highlighters are kind of, it's like highlighters and eyeshadow palettes are like my weak spots. I love them so much. So we're good here. We've got some room. I like how this is organized. Let's move over to face palettes. Welcome to my face palettes. 
to be 100% honest, I really don't think much is going to move here. Uh, except maybe the pixie stuff. Because I'm not a fan of the pixie stuff. <laughs> anyway. Let's go ahead and just go through each one I have. I have an hourglass face palette. I did a review a couple years ago when this first came out. Um, I really don't support hourglass anymore, considering how shitty their shade ranges are, how expensive their products are. Um, so this would be more of like a petty pan or a hate pan, because I spent a lot of money on this. And I don't think I can sell it at this point. So this might be included. I'm just making a list of things I could petty pan. So I think that project's going to keep going on. The complete opposite end of the spectrum. This is from Midas Cosmetics. This is the Dawn face palette. I adore, 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 adore this face palette. All right, so these two, I think I am gonna declutter because I wasn't a huge fan of these and they're not, you know, fantastic. This is the Pixie and Chloe Morello collab. And this is the Hello LA Angel palette. Okay, I've got one cream contour palette and this is the one from ABH. I got this at Marshalls a couple years ago and it's decent. Like it works. So I'm going to hold on to that. I have this palette from Makeup Revolution. It's actually pretty good quality. I do like it. So I'm going to keep that. This is like my all-time favorite. The Tarte, the original Clay Pay, Clay Pay Pay, the original Clay Play palette from Tarte was just amazing. This is spectacular. I love this palette. I take it traveling whenever I travel. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna keep it. I'm also afraid of panning it because they don't make it anymore. <laughs> All right, I have the Profusion Sculpting Glow. I really love Profusion face powders. They're really good. This is a mess, excuse my mess. But like the Profusion Contour powders and bronzer powders, like to me, they're on par of the Smashbox formula. Like they're a perfect dupe for them and I love these powders. So I'm gonna keep this. This is the Carly Bible and BH Cosmetics palette. I decluttered this and then I brought it back in and instead of putting it with eyeshadows, I put it in my face palettes, hoping I would reach for these highlights and maybe use this as something else. But I haven't reached for it. <laughs> I don't know, I, I gotta stop undecluttering things because I haven't used this. Yeah, that's gonna, that's gonna go. I might, you know, I'm gonna sell this just so I don't reach for it again. <laughs> We'll keep this. And then I've got the Fission's Formula Butter Box back here. I love the Butter Box, so we're just going to keep that there. This is my custom face palette I made at the end of my 2020 Pan That Palette. If you missed that series, I'll throw it up in the cards, but still love it. Going to keep it. Okay, let's see. What have we got here? I have the Lunatic Cosmetic Labs Contour Book. I love this. Love this to pieces. And I actually, I want to start thinking of things to do. And honestly, I really want to start using like these gray shades more. I think it'd be really pretty. So keeping that, let's see, will it fit here? And will it close? Yes, it will. All right, excellent. I might be able to split this over a little bit. And then I have an ABH glow kit. Technically, it's a glow kit, highlighter kit. I use it for face powders because this is like a perfect summer face palette for me. Like the, this could be a bronzer, these are contours, this is a highlight. To me, it works really well and I like it, so I'm gonna keep it in here. All right, next I have three Profusion palettes and I really do like them all. I don't use all of them though. So I have the original Highlight and Contour 1 palette, which has pan in it. I really do like this, so I'm gonna keep this. And then I have the golden nudes and the pink nudes. I don't use the pink ones. Yeah, I'm gonna declutter the pink nudes and just keep the golden nudes. Yeah, we'll keep that. And then last but not least, I have the Smashbox Ablaze face palette, which is like one of my favorite face palettes. I love this so much. It's just beautiful. So we'll keep that right there. All right, wow, we actually, I didn't think I was gonna get rid of any face palettes, but we did. And it worked out. So we did all blush, bronzer, highlight, face palettes. I like how we ended up. So thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know down below what you thought of this declutter. And I cannot wait to see you in my next video. Bye.